everyone. Welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zerscher, and today I'm going to be demonstrating three different knots. The colonial knot, the Chinese knot, and the French knot. We can look at all three and compare and see the differences. You can decide if you like one over another. These are all fun knots. They're wonderful to fill something in. They're lovely as the center for a flower. They're great little accents. They can be used in combination with other stitches. They're quite versatile and a lot of fun and quite easy once you get the hang of it. So grab something to stitch on, grab some thread, a Milner's needle. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and let's stitch together. I'm going to start with the colonial knot. I'm using a Milner's needle number one, and that is because I'm using shepherd's silk. If I was using a light a number eight weight thread or something that was a bit lighter, I would be using a Milner's number three. Something heavier, a Milner's number 15. So we, we start with the colonial knot. Come up in your work. And then you take your needle and do this. Do you see there's a cross there? And then you're going to go back near where you came up, not into the same hole, because otherwise the whole thing can just go through. You don't want to do that. You want to push it in. And that's my colonial knot. I pull my thread out and up. I take that thread with my other, my right hand, I'm going to take my needle and put it here and torque it to the left, then pull that thread over so you get that little cross. And now I'm going to go back in. I take my thread with my right hand, I take my needle. I pull it over the thread and I torque it, right? And then I pull that thread over so I get a little X right there. I'm going to go right back close to the hole that I came up, but not right in it. the Chinese knot, I'm using my number one Milner's needle. I'm using a pearl cotton number three. I'm going to twist it like this, and I'm going to go down into that loop. Come up in my work, twist it around, go down through there and back into my work, grabbing that thread and pulling it taut as I pull my needle down through it. Pull my thread up, make a twist, go down through that loop, Grab the thread so that it's taut against the needle. Hold it with my other thumb. For the French knot, I'm going to again use my number one Milner's needle. This time I'm using a um, soft cotton and I just wrap my thread twice hold it with my right hand, pull my needle through, wrap once, twice, go back near the hole that I came up, but not exactly in the hole that I came up, keep my thread somewhat taut, Thank you. 
here are my three different knots. I have my colonial knot here, my Chinese knot here, and my French knot here. To add a bead to your French knot, what you're going to do is come up. I switched needles and I'm now using a bullion knot needle because uh, the, where the eye is, it's actually a little bit slimmer. You need a large enough bead that it'll slip over the needle. So I have my bead, it's on my needle. I'm gonna leave it there. And now I'm going to do five wraps, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go back down close to where I came out, but not in the same place. And I'm going to pull this through. And what you get is a little wrapped stitch here with a little bead at the end. You can do more wraps if you want. Okay, I'm going to hold my bead on my needle and I'm going to do my wraps. That's six wraps. So that gives it a little something. This one is, I did a, I tried to do a beaded colonial knot. The knot itself isn't really showing. Whereas when you do five or even six wraps, this is six wraps, this is five, you can see the knot and then the little bead added. So that's just a little something extra. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is the thicker your thread, of course, the thicker your needle is going to be and the larger your bead. If you do a very thin, say a silk thread with a thin beading needle, you can use very small beads, but then also your knot is going to be tiny. But it's fun to just play with this and see what the various possibilities are. I started playing around with different threads. This is the very petite velvet and I did all three of the knots. Then I tried it with this. Um, th it's a cord that has a little green, thin green thread. Sue Spargo carries it. I don't know if it's on her website or not. It, I got it actually when I was in a workshop with her, but it's fairly thick and I just alternated. So this is a colonial, this is a French, this is the Chinese. Then I decided to try gimp. And again, so this is the Chinese, this is the French, this is the colonial. I'm gonna go ahead and, and just demonstrate those three for you. I also had a an idea about the Chinese knot. It seemed, I wasn't loving that little loop thing, you know, I that I showed you. So I was trying to figure out how to do it differently. And what I thought was, if you lay your thread like this, you wrap your, your thread around like that, and then go in near to where you came out, it's going to be essentially the same as doing that loop. That's my Chinese. Let's do a colonial and see what that looks like. So remember the colonial, I hold it. I take my needle and I do this and I get that little X right there and then I go and I put my needle back close to where I came out. I keep this fairly taut as I pull through. It's hard with the gimp sometimes. That's my colonial and so here is the French. I'm going to do two wraps and then I'll do it with one, keeping that fairly taut as I try to pull through. I sort of love the Colonial. They're all really pretty. I hope you found this helpful and enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Here's to stitching together.